on your case end of things, settings you can adjust for super heat control. As I mentioned, response on and response off. On this particular example, we've set them for 10, which is at the slower end of things. Yeah. And I wouldn't make it faster unless it was causing an issue. The temperature drifting up a little bit is not a major issue. So yeah, response on, response off there. As you touched on, control type EEV is superheat related. So evaporator select on this, REM1, means that it's sourcing the evaporator, the pressure from a remote source, be that the network or from the local hub it's connected to rather than a local transducer. So as you can see on this, my problem opening and my minimum opening for the EEV are quite low. They're not zero, but they're quite low. And the superheat problem is two, two degrees. That's to make sure that the valve does shut down a bit if the superheat gets too low on it. You can, depending on how stable your coil is, tweak those numbers around. You know, if you, with a transducer, most of the time you can very easily go to a problem opening of zero. Um, but all these things are telling you there's a problem with the coil. And it's just a question of how much you need to keep that coil running and doing a little bit if there's a minor problem or whether you just go, no, rack protection is the key here. So I'm going to shut that valve the moment the superheat looks terrible. Um, and you you know your systems better than I do as to what's priority in that regard and what your system can cope with. Again, start opening there is the other key one. As I said, you it's very tempting on systems where it controls on probes to rack that number really high and bomb a load of liquid in when you start with. With the transducer, you don't need to. And actually, I checked the latest version of RDM's manual and they actually um, think you know, that they um, things like the superheat problem and that they're now recommending you set that number to zero. The transducer doesn't need things like start opening and problem opening to keep a flow in the system. You start opening gives you the opportunity to get liquid to your probe if you're running on a probe for inlet temperature rather than a transducer. You can set that to 10% with a transducer because it will see the true superheat from the get-go because it's using the transducer. If you've got an inlet probe as your only source of your evaporating temperature, especially if it's a long way away from the inlet, you need that number to be a little bit higher to get some liquid to it. 